Thank you, Rob. Meanwhile, a Danville man's in custody tonight after a more than four-hour standoff. The man has been identified as 35-year-old Andrew Petrick. WSLS 10's Coulter Anstead is live at the scene tonight. So, Coulter, uh, you were there when the man surrendered, and I understand everything ended peacefully, correct? Oh, that's right. I am standing at the intersection of Marshall Terrace and at Mount Vernon Avenue. I can tell you the standoff centered around a home about a quarter of the way down the 100 block of Marshall Terrace. Here behind me, police tell me it started as a tip about a wanted man. This is video of 35-year-old Andrew Stephen Petrick surrendering to SWAT officers around 2 o'clock this afternoon after nearly five hours of being holed up in a home. Officers received information this morning between around 9.30 and 10 that a a wanted person was in the 100 block of Marshall Terrace. Officers went to the home and knocked on the door and confirmed the person was inside. There was also some information that the person may have had a weapon inside the residence, and that was also confirmed by the person that was in the residence. Police will not say if a gun was actually found. They say Patrick eventually called 911, and crisis negotiators began trying to get him to surrender. Tyler Rogerson is a student at Averett University and lives on Marshall Terrace. He left for class this morning as the first officers arrived. Looked like they were serving a warrant or something, so I mean, I didn't think anything of it at that point. When he came back about an hour later, he found the street blocked off at both ends. He left for about two hours, then came back again, hoping to grab his books for his afternoon class, but found the street still blocked. At least it's not someone being shot. It's just a standoff. I mean, obviously it's not great, but things could be worse. Patrick will be taken to, or was taken rather to Danville Regional Medical Center for a mental evaluation. According to the police department, once he is released, he will be brought before a magistrate and charged with two counts of grand larceny and six counts of forgery. Live in Danville, Colter Ranch down to WSLS 10.